right as a MAGTAF, a Marine Air Ground Task Force. So anytime we go to fight, there's a ground combat element, there's an aviation combat element, whether it's a contingency operations, whether it's disaster relief, or whether it's fighting uh, full-scale combat operations in Afghanistan, the MAGTAF is really the fundamental of our warfighting ethos as Marines. Marine aircraft ranges from C-130 cargo planes to the massive troop transport helicopters. At the Marine Air Base at Camp Pendleton, pilots are preparing for a training run. Today, they're loading rockets and machine gun ammo for a mission that simulates an air assault on a distant target. These pilots have maneuvers to practice and weapons to master, just like the grunts on the ground. And the primary weapon platform of the Marine Air Assault Arsenal is the AH-1. The Cobra. Fifty-eight feet long, only thirty-eight inches wide at the cabin, this sleek, four-bladed chopper is the cutting edge of military helicopter technology. You can see by the nature of that platform, it's not for hauling cargo around. Its sole mission in life is to deliver ordnance against our nation's enemies. Today's training mission is about to go hot. The Cobra is designed to deliver massive firepower with brutal accuracy. The Cobra's nose contains the lead-spitting 20mm cannon, capable of firing 750 rounds a minute or 11 rounds per second. We have different types of uh, warheads on them. We have tracers, and we also have our semi-armored piercing high explosive incendiary round, which essentially, it's got a little explosive inside it and acts like a little mini grenade every time we shoot those out. So one can imagine that you're essentially getting shot 11 rounds per second with these uh, high explosive rounds. It creates a lot of damage. Outboard wings carry banks of high-explosive Hydra rockets, fired at 1,500 miles per hour. Right now, they're loading up some 2.75-inch HE rockets. Uh, they're loading 14 right now on the Zulu there, high-explosive. They're going to go boom when they hit their target. Uh, but I believe the casualty rate is about 50 meters per rocket. It's pretty destructive.